What do you say when you sneeze all over the vice principal's face? And now, please welcome the only hypoallergenic host on television, Week Yahoo! Oh, thank you, Mr. Voice Man, thank you. Hey, you won't find any pollen in this air. <laughs> <clears throat> now then, over to our Masters of Mayhem, Slash and Sam and Taryn Aaron. Hey, Rick, we're taking the best new heights over here! That's right, what goes up must come down. Ooh, Mayhem's ready. Now it's over to our Christopher Patricia. The questions and answers fly at high speeds here at the speed round. So tell us, Mr. Voice Man, who's playing our game today? Brilliant in blue are George and Anna. Because there's a guy I gotta call upon. His name is The Punisher. Punisher! Punisher control! No Punisher! Now, Mr. Voice Man, tell us about the stew of prizes we have simmering today. Today's grand prize winners take home PlayStation, who invite you into the world of Spyro the Dragon, a 3D platform adventure filled with graphically stunning, fully interactive worlds. PlayStation, live in your world, play in ours. Our first runners up will feel the music as they listen with the Panasonic Shockwave. It's a portable cassette player. The VMS system actually lets you feel the bass. Shake your brain better with Shockwave from Panasonic. From Panta Rabbit 1850, our second runners up will receive $150 worth of the most popular brands of jeans, including Polo, CK, and Tommy. Famous for this selection of jeans, Pantorama at 1850 stores. Oh, one of these teams will have a great day, a great day. Who will it be? Red, blue, or green? Stay tuned. We'll see you But before we spin the big wheel, let's look at the rules. Each spin of the wheel could alter your points, force you into messy activities, pose you some quick quizzes, or result in all sorts of unpleasant surprises. Mayhem, uh-oh, speed round, or the dump. Which one's it gonna be? Uh, I don't know, Blue, you wanna tell me? Get up here and spin the wheel, Anna. Let's go. The big spin. There it is. Anna's first spin of the game. And she's excited because she wants some points. Everybody wants points. What's it gonna land on? The dump. Oh, oh, right, Anna, come on over here. Oh, quick 50, big point for Blue. Good stuff. All right, Adam, do us a favor. Come on up and spin that wheel. You saw Blue get 50 points. Adam wants the points, too. Good spin, Adam, good spin. Adam, trade and spin, good for you. Who do you want to trade with? Blue it is. 50 down. Zero up, easy come, easy go, Anna. There's the second spin by Adam. Yeah, green pump right here. Green just got 50 points in a trade and spin. And look at this. Oh, Adam. This is how it goes. I will ask you a simple, simple question. Well, I don't know how simple. Let's test the brain. If you get it right, you get 50 points. If you get it wrong, well, your partner's going to get some goop on the head. Sir Isaac Newton is best remembered for discovering what? Astronomy, gravity, electricity, or cherry pie? Gravity. 
You say gravity, you are right. Give him 50 points for this. Oh, Adam. Using your brain, I'm sorry, Punisher. No gravity bring the goo down on the head today. Now, let's go, Lauren. Spin for the red team up here. Spin for the red team. Lauren with her first spin of the game, and she wants some points as well. Could she get them from Mayhem? Oh, Brenda. Oh, my scramble eggs have been infested by slugs. You got to get rid of them, man. There's eight of them. If you can get rid of all of them in 20 seconds, I'll give you 50 points. But one little thing. You got to use your mouth. <laughs> OK, on your mark. Get set. Go. Woo! Okay, come on. Let's And now it's time to recap, so let's take a look. Blue, no points right now. He stole your points. Green did with 100 points for Green. And Lauren, 50 points from that man. Good job. All right, let's continue with the second spin of the first round. So, Anna, let's get some points back right here. Let's get some points back. There you go. Anna was robbed of points by Adam on the Green team. And Anna wants points back. So let's see if she can get them with Mayhem. members standing here ready to get some soggy rings on them. All you have to do is get one ring around each audience member and you, my friend, the blue team, are going to get yourself 50 points. Are you ready? Yeah. Then you know you only have 20 seconds. Ready? Go! Here we go, guys! A little lower here, George. A little lower. Come on, a little lower. You just got her head. Come on, George. You can do this. I know you can. All right. Keep trying there. Oh, good try. She sucks on you there, buddy. Ring looked good, wrapping around the head, messy, messy. And time for Green to step up. So Adam, with your 100 point lead, let's see what you can do. Good spin there, Adam, good spin. And it looks like you're gonna get it. Oh, Adam, you know how it works. Stay in your spot, stay in your spot back there. A little question for you. Punisher wants to get a goo here. Can he do it? Will Adam get it right? The drama, ooh. Who was the first gymnast to score a perfect 10 in Olympic competition? Was it Shannon Miller, Olga Kormut, Nadia Comaneci, or Kitty Flippy? Nadia Comaneci. You say Nadia, I say Yada. 50 points. Wow. During the 1976 Olympics at the age of 15, Nadia Comaneci scored a perfect 10 seven times. I'm so sorry, Punisher. That was in Montreal in 76. All right, let's go to red. Lauren, up here and spin that wheel. You need points to your 50. Release. Lauren, with the spin. She's got 50 points. She wants more. Of course she wants more points. Did she get it with, oh. Oh, Lauren, you saw what Adam did. Can you do the same? Use your brain or a scoop on your partner's head. In what country would you find the outback? Would it be in the United States? Australia, um, my backyard, or Italy? Um, Italy. You say Italy, I say uh, you better eat more spaghetti and think about it. It's Australia, I'm sorry, Lauren. No. The outback is in Australia and is the area west of the Great Dividing Range, Punisher. Let's put some goo on the barbie. Uh, now that's nice, goo, Punisher. Nice go indeed. Back to your spot, Lauren. All right, let's do the standings right now. Blue, no points as of yet. Green's got a whopping 150 right here. And Lauren, 50 points, pretty good. Mr. Voice Man, how about announcing one of the grand prizes coming up in the future? Future grand prize winners will express themselves in the half pipe and terrain park or cards from extreme turns to their favorite ski hill with a pair of snow blades from Solomon. Solomon, the number one name in mountain sports equipment. Nice prize. Hey, stay tuned. The Slime Tour is taking us to Charlottetown, PEI, right after this. Welcome back to 
the game show, everybody. Welcome back. Hey, let's join the slime tour in Prince Edward Island. Yes, Charlottetown PEI. What does the P stand for? No, not potato. Even though I wish it did, it stands for Prince. And today our competitors will be vying for royal ascent in a little game that we like to call... The Wars and Future Potato! Aqua, what do you got? Whoa, girl. Arthur drew his sword from the stone and he was crowned king. But all you have to do is find three Bridges to Babylon CDs by the Rolling Stones in this pool of scalloped potatoes. And once you've done that, you can go see Aaron. Every king needs a crown. Just ask Elvis. No, not Elvis Stoico, the other one. But decorate your crown with fish sticks and potatoes, dump our bubbly bake on yourself, mustard and ketchup, and then head over to Christian for the coronation. Yeah! Like royalty, potatoes have their place in the great chain of being. And like royalty, potatoes have eyes. Your job is to squish the pus out of each and every one of those eyes before moving on. And remember, they're not just ordinary potatoes. I present their royal highness. Let me present to you the knights. I'm rocking Randy and I'm taking you down in Charlottetown. I'm drawing smell and I'm going to sneak you out. Woo! I've done my pin yell and I'm going to blast my way to winning this game. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm shaking in my boots. All right, guys, you've seen the teams. Now it's time to vote. If you choose right, I'm going to give you not 10, not 20, not 30, but 35 points. And if you're wrong, well, um, I'm giving you a zero. And while you're voting, let's see what they're playing for. For our Slime Tour winner, a fabulous color printer from Lexmark. For your school reports and home projects, Lexmark printers add up. Print Lexmark and come to your own brilliant conclusion. Our runners-up will receive an official NHL hockey jersey from CCM, the hockey company. Official licensee of the National Hockey League, CCM is the original authentic, celebrating 100 years of hockey excellence. You know, I like it when everybody's different. And you know why I say that? Because the votes are in, and they all chose different colors. Red chose orange, green chose yellow, and blue chose purple. Who's going to be right? Sean, we're going back to you. All right. On your mark. Get that go! And they are off! They should be disgusting. Watch for the jump. Yeah! They get in there. It's disgusting. They've got to find what they're looking for. They've got to find them, and they get ready to move on. Who's it going to be? Purple is away first. Purple is away first. Here she goes. She's still out in front. Now they have to make the goal. You've got to love it. Look at the bars of gold. Look at that. Unbelievable. Who's it going to be? It seems to be pretty close right now. They're going to make their crown now. they got to pour the goo on their heads. That is disgusting. That's right. Now go, purple, and go yellow. Go, go, go. is doing it a different way. Put the crown on first. Purple is away. Popping zip time. Here comes the zip. Yep. This is my favorite. Yeah. Christmas series, because I'm on a big purple horse. I love it. All right, pop them all. Just pop them all. Christmas pop is your thumb. Pop them all. And purple and yellow. Make sure it doesn't are fall really off. Close no, right you got to squish it, purple. We don't know who don't it's going to be. If it's going to be purple. If it's going to be orange, or if it's going to be yellow, because yellow and has certainly good time. 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 Yellow, yellow, you know what? Yellow, yellow needs to be away. Yellow, 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 Congratulations to Yellow. Now, who chose Yellow on the floor? It wasn't blue, it wasn't red. You chose purple and orange, but green, look at this. Yellow, 35 points for you. Yes, so going to the final round. Here are the standings. Blue, you got no points, but we got a third round to go. Green's got 185, and red's got 50. You know what? This could be anybody's game. We still got trade and spin. We got things where points can go flying. Go away, and then come back. We got more messy games coming up after this. Yeah. Already, welcome back. 
Hey, the partners have changed places, and joining me at the wheel are George, with a J, George, and Brenda. We got two Georges. Oh, not right, George. And with the Punisher, we got some other contestants waiting to get goo dumped on their head. Hey, is it gonna happen? Let's see. George with a J. Get up here and spin that wheel and get some points. Let's go. You gotta get points. Blue got stolen, look at this. Oh, oh, the lots. Ah, uh, George. You could get 75 points right here with the Oh Deluxe. If you don't get it right, the Punisher get two special goos. Ooh. Tear glands are also known as what? Critosis glands, pituitary glands, lacrimal glands, or ocular glands. Pituitary. Uh, yeah, tough to say, isn't it? Pituitary yeah. glands, well, you're absolutely wrong. It's lacrimal glands. Oh, no, George. Yes, lacrimal glands are always making tears to clean and clear your eyes. Punisher. Open wide. This will clean your eyes out. Oh, Punisher. Oh, and another one for the other one. Well, you didn't get 75 points short. Too bad, so sad, but boy, I like seeing that. Doesn't make me cry, makes me laugh. All right, Green, George with a G. Step up to the plate. You got 185. There's a thing by George. And it's going around. Could it be on Mayhem? It is. Adam, grave digging. That's what it's all about. That's right. Now, what I want you to do is dig through this coffin and find for me his valuables, okay? You got a watch, a ring, and a Hanson CD, okay? So if you can get all that into the bowl in 20 seconds, I'll give you 50 points. Are you ready? Yep. Get set. Do a little grave robbing, baby. Go, go, go. Come on. Make a mess. Yeah. All day. Can you find anything? Okay, you can't find anything. What's that? A Hanson CD. There you go, buddy. Put it inside there. You got 10 seconds. What is that? Adam, but you know what? You only got the CD, so no points, buddy. Oh, no points. So sorry, so sorry. But guess what? It's time for Red to step up and do some stuff. So, Brenda, with your 50 points, spin away. Yes. Brenda had a little go on the head. Oh, Brenda, what is this? Trade and spin, Brenda. Your lucky day. You get to trade with anyone on the board you want to do with Blue, who's got zero, or Green, who's got 185. Green. There it is, 185 down. 50 points up. And all of a sudden, Red is in the lead. But, ah, uh, yes, but we've got one more spin to go because it's trade and spin, Brenda. So spin again. That's right. It's trade and spin. Here's a second spin for Brenda. Round the wheel it goes. She's got 185 now. And it's all. Oh, Brenda, I've got a question for you, Brenda. If you get it right, 50 big points. If you get it wrong, well, Punisher's going to have some fun tonight. What is a mirage? A band of gypsies, an optical illusion, a magician's trick, or a spectral vision? An optical illusion. An optical illusion? You are right. Give her 50 <laughs> points of Oh, Brenda. She's gone from 50 points to 235 like yeah. that. Now it's time for Blue to step up. Let's go, George, up here to spin that wheel for the Blue team. There it is. Let's get some points, George. There's Blue's big spin going around mayhem. Hey, Anna, you heard of the candy man? Well, yeah, this did. He needs help. What I want you to do is take this cotton candy, stick it in the hole. If you can fill all the holes, 20 seconds, 50 points that easy. Go on over there. Are you ready? Go! Too many holes, no time to do it. All right, Green, step up. George with a G. Let's go, G. 50 points is what you've got. And now it looks like you've got ma'am. Oh, we got a shark attack for you, Adam. That's right. You got to save these swimmers, OK? So what I got you to do is knock down all five sharks in 20 seconds. I'll give you 50 points, OK? Using these goo balls standing from here. Are you ready, Adam? Yep. Get set and oh, go, buddy, go! Just don't hit me, Adam. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Come on, buddy.
Scotty, you can do it. I have faith in you. Hit this shark. Hit this shark. There's one. There's two. Two, but you didn't get all of them, so no points. Oh, so sorry, no points, but he hit Aaron, and that's always fun. All right, Brenda, get up here and spin that wheel for the red team. Yes, Brenda. She's got the big 235 right now. Red's going round and round, and where it stops, nobody knows. Ooh, losing spin. I gotta take 20 points off your score, and you get an additional spin, so let's go, Brenda. One more spin for you. That's right. Won't get you away with it. Second spin for Brenda, and a speed round. Go to Trish, All Brenda. Right, Brenda, come on over here to the speed round. You have 20 seconds to answer 10 questions. You get five points for correct answer. If you know what's it, if you don't know what's it, pass. Are you ready? Yeah. Starting now, how many tires on a car? Four. How many tires on a bike? Two. How many tires on a tricycle? Uh, three. Do you own a bike? Yes. What color is your hair? Brown. What color is my hair? Blonde. What do you wash your hair with? Shampoo. What do you wash your hands with? Soap. How many hands do you have? F two. How many fingers do you have? F uh, ten. Good job, Wink. How did she do? We got all ten points. Ten times five is fifty. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to find out who's taking on the big prize. Blue's got nothing. Green's got fifty. And with two sixty-five, it's Red taking it home. Oh, congratulations. to blow big bubbles, and Hubba Bubba's available in five awesome flavors that will blow your taste buds away. Hubba Bubba. Some of our audiences will bop it, twist it, pull it, pass it with Bop It, the electronic musical game for fast reflexes. Get your friends together, test your skill, and compete to the beat with Bop It from Parker Brothers. Waka's Double Dip Nerds, Vanna Coated Strawberry Apple Coated Watermelon, Tiny Tangy Crunchy Candies, two flavors in every box, one of the many inventions from the wild world of Waka. Promotional consideration paid by StampQuest. It's a great club and the coolest stamp collecting adventure around. Check out StampQuest.